All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today we have something very interesting to talk about. This will be more of a commentary style video, although uh, the video is an important aspect of it. it. Wouldn't work unless we had a video. So, welcome to YouTube. Welcome to my channel. Let's get into the video. Okay, welcome to the video guys. So I have a feeling that some people are gonna be a little split on whether or not this uh, it's, uh, The opinions are they're not they're not everyone's got the same opinion. That's what I'm trying to say here So let's try to be civil in the comment section and uh, uh, Yeah, don't dislike the video just because you don't like my opinions or you can it's, it's up to you. It's up to you So first things first um, shadow stalker of time class the topic of this video of course so they came out with a new red version, which honestly I think looks better than the blue version. So that's the thing. Um, if you get the calendar, you're going to get both the red and blue version if you already ordered the calendar off Hero Mart. Uh, if you don't know, calendar classes come out every year. Um, and you can normally buy last year's one, and I'll talk about that a little later. Um, and they never sell them in-game. They only You can only get them off Hero Mart. So you have to order them. You have to get it shipped to your house. You have to have the physical paper calendar in your hands and it comes with a code you use the code you get the calendar class in game and the classes are normally very powerful uh like doing huge like 100k damage on some of them and huge dot damage over times and stuff like that so they're good classes i don't think we've ever had a bad one from a calendar maybe we have in the past uh so this year you'll be able to purchase a variant of the class in adventure quest worlds for six thousand acs uh, why the high price tag? Um, they do. They wanted to line it up about with the calendar price, but I still think it's too high. Um, I'll give you some good reasons here. Why 6,000 ACs is too high. Um, so I, I spent a lot of time talking, uh, thinking, not talking, thinking about this before I started recording a video and I went through it and there are some very good reasons why 6,000 ACs is way too many. Even with the bonus ACs you can get at the moment, uh, because before it would be way more expensive to get this class if you had no ACs uh, without the bonus, but they currently have a bonus running, uh, which makes it a little bit better. But maybe like a few months from now, and they're still selling this class, and there's no bonus, it'll be a very expensive class to buy. It'll cost you more than six thousand ACs because you can't, not to my knowledge, buy six thousand ACs by themselves. So. Um, there's a few things. Uh, why is it 6,000 ACs? They wanted to price it similar to the calendar, which I understand. It makes sense if you think about it for only a few seconds, but if you think about it more, it doesn't make that much sense. Um, okay, so you can buy the calendar off Hero Mart, and for just the calendar by itself is 20 US dollars. So, and it's for pre sale at the moment. Uh, another thing that's kind of silly about this is you'll be able to get the class before the people that ordered the physical calendar. So they're not going to get the class right away, like they're not going to get a code emailed to them, they're getting their code physically shipped to them in the mail. So the people that buy the class for ACs will have it before any of the people that buy the calendar, which in previous years was unheard of. Uh, and they did not tell anyone that they were going to do this before they put the calendars up for pre-order. I don't know if that was on purpose or they made a last minute decision uh, to sell it for ACs also because in some countries you can't get it shipped to your house and that's why they're making it for sale for ACs. Um, so yeah, um, for $20 you get the calendar uh, and the class and a bunch of other items in other games. This is why I don't think it's worth it. So you see right here, even in one of their main promotional pictures, they have the AQ 3D uh, armor set you get and the AQW um, class. Of course, the AQW class is the main draw for, I'm guessing, most players because uh, there's still quite a, uh, not a large portion of people that are playing both AQ 3D and AQW actively. Like some people hop on and check out the new stuff, but they don't play it like every day. Um, but the AQ 3D stuff does look cool and I was looking forward to getting it. Um, and when I saw this, I was like, oh, cool, do I get the AQ3D stuff? And uh, currently, you do not. If you buy the in-game class, you do not get the AQ3D stuff. So it says uh, right here, uh, will you offer the rewards for other games in-game? At this time, AQ World is the only game with an in-game reward option. And they say at this time. So they could charge you 6,000 Adventure Coins for 
just the class. Well, I guess I guess you get a, like a class and a few armors. Uh, yeah, you get the cape, staff, helmet, and the armors. But the class is the main thing you're getting. Like, you know, not a lot of people are gonna be wearing this armor for very long. Like, they might wear it when they first get to show it off, but they're not gonna be not gonna be walking around with it for a month or two from now. Um, so you get the class for the 6,000 ACs, and that's all you get in Adventure Quest Worlds with the armors and other stuff, of course. So you don't get any of the other in-game rewards at the moment. And this is what worries me, is because they could sell the uh, other classes in Dragon Fable, and so there's other rewards. So in Dragon Fable, you get the Shadow Walker of Time class. In Adventure Quest, the original Adventure Quest, uh, you get the Shadow Walker of Time. Uh, in Epic Duel, you get a Chrono Blade, which looks sick. I wish that was an AQW item. That would be really good if it was. Um, Chrono Blade 2017 stats coming soon, so the blade will probably have some good stats on it. So you get all these other items, you get an AQ3D uh, armor set, you get and two classes in the games, which are probably worth $10 a piece, uh, because, um, yeah, they're probably worth $10 a piece. So what if they charge, what if they go ahead and they charge you 6,000 ACs, uh, in Adventure Quest Worlds, and so let's say you play Dragon Fable 2, uh, and they're like, okay, we're releasing it for Dragon Fable 2, they, they charge you 6,000, uh, the Dragon Fable currency, whatever it is, uh, I don't know it offhand. My apologies. I, I, I did know it at one point. Let's say they charge you six thousand there, so that's another twenty, twenty dollars. Uh, yeah, that's another. Tw well, if there's a bonus active, if there's no bonus active, then it's even more than that. Uh, and that is if you don't spend the extra five dollars on boosts they try to sell you. Um, so they have six thousand ACs with no boosts, with no like extra ACs. You have to buy the forty dollar package. Which is a considerable, that's US dollars, that's a considerable amount more uh, than, uh, there's, there's a lot of holes in this plan. Um, so, now, it couldn't, it might not work that if they sell it in other games, they might sell it for a cheaper price if you already bought it in AQW, if you already bought the class and spent the 6,000 ACs, the 20 US dollars, or 40 US dollars if there's no active bonus on it. Uh, they might, so it actually costs more if you want to buy it in-game with no bonus, because I don't know how long this bonus is going to be available for AQW, um, and I, I, maybe it's not even available in other games. So this doesn't make a lot of sense. They're charging you the same amount, but they're not giving you any of the bonus items in the other games. Like, they could make it so you buy it on your Portal.Battle on account, and they could give you the items in the other games too. They could do that easily. Like, if you bought the, um, if you buy the class on Portal.BattleOn.com, uh, they might have to add like a, a shop feature or like a new shop tab or something in portal.battleon.com but it'd be very doable it would take someone uh, probably less than a day to code that in I don't uh, don't quote me on that but it's probably something they could honestly do is give you all the rewards for all the games if you buy if you spend the $20 and they could charge you $25 or $30 for it too and I'd be okay with that as long as they gave you all the rewards but you're only getting a variant. You're not getting both variants. You're getting a single variant for the same price in Adventure Quest Worlds. Uh, I'm okay. I'm gonna buy it just to do a class guide on it because uh, I'm sure a lot of people want to see my thoughts on the class and see if the class is worth buying before they spend the six thousand ACs on it, which I'm sure some people are considering or already plan to do. Uh, by the way, this class is coming out on Friday, this Friday, so you'll be getting it way before any of the people that ordered the calendar off the website, which is because still it's not even shipping yet. I don't think because it's still pre-sale, and this is not to mention so the price. Why I say it's the same, you could say, hey, Corey, it costs um, a little bit more, but for $5 more, five US dollars more, you can get both the Infinite Knight and the uh, the new calendar class, the Shadow Walker class, Shadow Walker, whatever it's called. So you can get two classes for $5 more, you get an extra class for an extra $5, which is a good class. So I don't know. I'm and there's a hundred dollar version where you can get the class too in the other one. Well, it comes with a bunch of t-shirts, I guess, which you could want. Uh, and there's another $25 one that comes with a bunch of prints. This, that one's a total ripoff when you could get this one for the same price and it comes with an extra class. Um, anyway, that's basically, basically my thoughts. It's, hmm, to get the, to get the calendar shipped to my house, I would buy the calendar if I lived like, say I lived in Florida in the United States and it cost me like $5 to ship it. I would, but it cost me another like 20 bucks almost, 
uh, 20 Canadian dollars to get it to my house. Uh, like, so it cost me 20 US dollars to buy the calendar and another like $20 to get to my house. So it's like, it's, I think it's like 42 Canadian dollars uh, for me to buy the calendar and get shipped to my house. And that'll take, it'll take over a month to get to my house too. So I wouldn't have the calendar for another month if I bought it right now and it's still in pre-sale. So I, I don't really know what to say else with the situation. My opinion is I think it, I think the, the price for the class is a ripoff unless it's like an insanely good class, the 6,000 adventure coins, because I get the price here. I get the price, the $20 here, like $20, like you're not just buying a single class. You're getting a real life calendar. You're getting, um, you're getting prints. You're getting, uh, items in other games, like good items. Like I would love to have this set of armor and AQ 3d. I would, if I played these games, which I don't anymore, I used to play the Adventure Quest and Dragon Fable, but I don't anymore. Uh, if I played these games, I'm sure these would be cool classes to have, and this weapon looks awesome if I played Epic Duel. So you're getting all this other stuff uh, with the calendar, uh, but you're going to get the class after the people that buy with ACs, and... Uh, It'll lose a little bit of its coolness, uh, like the month later when it gets shipped to your house, because uh, I don't even think they're shipping it right now. So you get it after if you buy this. So there's pros and cons to both systems. I think it's overpriced. I would prefer if it was about 4,000 ACs, because that way, if it's four or maybe 4,500 ACs in game, um, that would probably be a much more reasonable price because if there's no bonus going on and if they're selling this calendar all year in game or there's they're selling the class excuse me uh all year in game and there's no bonus going on you'd have to spend uh 40 dollars minimum or uh, if you got the package 12 month package i don't, I don't know it would be 40 dollars minimum to get that class well you do get the extra acs left over too but they're that's still a minimum price of $40 for the class, which is pretty insane. That's my thoughts on it. Um, I'm going to buy it. It's coming out Friday. Hopefully it's a good class. If it's not, I will definitely tell you guys. Um, we'll be far, we'll be leveling up on the stream this Friday. <sighs> okay. Um, last words at the end of the video should you get the class in game i would wait for myself or someone else to make a video then watch that video and see if the class is actually worth the six thousand adventure coins because they're just selling you the class in game the calendar if you're willing to wait the 30 days it'll take the or the 30 plus well depending on where you live that's how long it takes depending on where you live where i live in canada it takes 30 plus days to get to my house based on previous experience so if you're willing to wait this is a much better deal, uh, especially if you live in the United States and the shipping isn't going to cost you an extra $20. Uh, that is a good, good deal. I would go with this and just wait it out if the class is good. But I'd wait for the videos on the class to come out before you even order this. So wait till this Friday. Uh, I'll have a video up Friday night. I'll be using it on stream. You can come out there. You can see how good the class is. See if it's worth the $20 uh, plus shipping, which will be an extra like five US dollars. I think it was 12 Canadian dollars plus tax and all that shipping cost uh, BS. So I wait till Friday before you do anything with your money. Just keep your money in your pocket. Wait till Friday. I'll, I'll waste some money on stream and I will show you guys whether or not it is worth it. Um, I really don't want to, but I will. And uh, we'll see if the glass is good or not. Um, that's about it. I really wish that you got the other items for spending the money in AQW, but you don't, and that kind of sucks. And those are my thoughts on this video. Please leave your opinion on this in the comments. I want to see uh, what people think about this. Uh, I know my opinion might be a little uh, negative. Uh, I think it's a positive. I, I hope they do this for future classes, honestly. Maybe they fix the pricing so it's a little bit more reasonable for if you're only getting the class in game and not all the other items because i think those extra items do actually add value and the real ca real life calendar does actually add a lot of value to that too honestly i think it adds a good like at least five dollar value i, I spent five if i saw that, that calendar in a store i would spend ten dollars on it easily if i'm like oh an aq uh, an aqw calendar i would buy that in a store easily for like five ten dollars maybe fifteen dollars even so i think the calendar adds value um and i think that you don't get a lot of value from just buying the in-game items uh, but I guess we'll have to see this Friday what happens. They could change this. It's Monday right now, so they could change this uh, from now to Friday. Uh, this is my thoughts on the current situation. Thank you guys 
for watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And comment, please comment down below your thoughts. Because I want to see what everyone else is thinking about this uh, besides me. Because I know what I'm thinking because I'm myself. But I want to know what other people are thinking in the community. So let's see what you guys think. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.